There was a sun and a moon who told each other tales of what happened in the forests of Earth. The sun told about what he'd see during the day, and the moon told him about everything she saw at night. One day the sun said, Moon, this is the story of the three little piglets that decided to go and live in the woods and build one house for each one of them. And so they went off one morning, happy and determined to make their dream come true. Oh, son, I know them. The youngest is the chubby one, playful and lazy. The one that follows is all about parties, a romantic and adventurous one. And the eldest is the mature one. He's quiet and dedicated to his labor. Look, Moon, the young one built a straw house and, of course, finished before his brothers. So he sat down to rest. The second one built it of wood, and though it took him some more time, he finished sooner than the eldest. So he went dancing and mocking his older brother, who was building a very solid and beautiful house made of shiny bricks. You are too slow, elder brother. Enough working. Hey, bro, come and have fun with us said the middle one. Middle one, there will be time for fun. Now it's time to work and build a house that lasts forever. Replied the elder. While you work, we rest and we enjoy life. Said the younger one. A house is a house. Exclaimed the middle one. It doesn't matter what it is made of. Well, you'll see how my house resists rain, wind, fire and even earthquakes, proudly answered the elder. And the night proved the elder right, said the moon. Really? asked the sun, really surprised. What happened next? Um, well, that night the three piglets went to sleep very tired. The youngest from playing, the middle one from dancing, and the elder from working very hard. When I gazed from among the trees... <gasps> the wolf! Of course! He goes hunting at night! exclaimed the sun. Don't interrupt me! If you already know the story, I'll stop telling it! replied the moon. No, no! Go ahead, I really want to know. Might as well be your silliness. Well, pay close attention to what happened. Hunger has woken me up. <laughs> and these woods smell like sweet, sour pig. Wait, is it true what I see? <laughs> the three little piglets, and they feel so safe in their little houses. We'll see you about that! <laughs> the wolf approached the little straw house and yelled at the youngest piglet. Little piglet, you better open right away or I'll bring this house down with a tiny blow! <laughs> you arrogant wolf, let's see if you can! Said the younger one. I will blow, I will blow Your house I will destroy Every part I shall tear A storm I will create My fury will wake It will break, make no mistake It will break, make no mistake <laughs> I will devour you so slowly, piece by piece of delight, and I will clean my teeth with your seedless water treat. And if I'm not satisfied, 
and it's time for my dessert. I will prepare my favorite frozen piglet candy. <laughs> I will blow, I will blow, I will blow Your house I will destroy Every part I shall turn A storm I will create My fury will break It will break, make no mistake It will break, make no mistake I will blow, I will blow, I will blow, I will blow, I will blow your house so will destroy And a wolf blew and blew and a house went down. The little pig ran desperately to his middle brother's wooden house. But the wolf also arrived and threatened again. Young and middle one, come out at once, or I shall blow down this wooden house with half a blow. <laughs> Let's see if you can, you lousy wolf. Said the middle one. The wolf blew. But the house didn't even shake a bit. Well, let it be a powerful blow then. <laughs> you arrogant wolf! <laughs> <laughs> Lousy wolf! <laughs> Both the younger and the middle brother. <sighs> You'll see. A blow and a half will do it. The house shook and trembled until it finally collapsed. But the little piglets. Tell me. Tell me, Moon. Did the wolf eat them? Asked the sun. Hmm, well... The wolf almost ate them, but the piglets ran and barely managed to get into the eldest brother brick house. And what happened next, Moon? The wolf charged again, replied the worried Moon. The three of you come out, or I'll bring down the house by half a... <clears throat> One full blow! Ha ha ha! You stubborn wolf! You wouldn't dare! <laughs> the eldest yelled. Well... Let them be... Two... Or three... Or four... All their houses, the small was small, the middle with the eldest work with breeze. But they tell us, but they used to play what they knew. What you want is what you get, should always try your best. There is always danger. Make some food with a chimney and a kitchen. He 
closed like a fortress. All the fearless were so scared they hide behind the window, waiting for the big bad wolf who was very close. Just imagine this, son. The wolf blew so many times he almost passed out. <laughs> and as he was, he spent the night blowing and blowing. Moon, what happened next? Oh, dear son, I can't tell you the rest of the story. Dawn is almost here, and I must leave now. You are right. What am I doing here? The land is dark, and it's time for me to rise, exclaimed the sun. And he missed the rest of the story, because the moon had to leave. But this is what happened. The wolf almost fainted, blowing and blowing. Then he tried sneaking through the chimney into the brick house. Meanwhile, the pigs had figured out his intentions, so they prepared and installed a big water pot over the fire, so when the wolf managed to get in... He fell in the holding water and burnt his hairy tail. Even his powerful blow could not ease the burn. <laughs> Arrogant wolf! <laughs> now see you! You stubborn wolf! Ha ha ha! Like the three little piglets who decided to live in the brick house, embracing the great example of their elder, hard working brother who built a really wonderful, long lasting house.
of the story. Let your materials be the finest and your ideals the greatest. Not time, but your commitment matters most to fulfill your dreams.